it looks pretty quite content there, don't it, folks? Just looking at me. Just thinking, what are you up to? Pretty fat, aren't they, Heather? Hmm? Pretty fat, isn't it? Well, we'll continue. Oh, I almost fell off the snow wheel here. Didn't seem too scared. Well, now this shed was totally empty yesterday, folks, before we started hauling firewood out. This is what we got out yesterday in four loads. Now this wall is 16 feet long by almost seven feet high. It's six foot or it's seven foot six and a half feet high. So this is what we hauled out yesterday. We ended up trading the wood in here to be able to buy that that sleigh. So that's how we got that. But I mean we only had uh, only had a full row like this in the back. So this sleigh has already just about paid for itself. With this new load this morning that we just brought out, this should, uh, you know, uh, it, it should go pretty far in filling up this row. Now, Heather has some in hers as well. It's it's fairly early yet in the morning. As you can see, that rabbit was just sitting around there chilling, warming up. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, maybe it was scared. It didn't want to run. I don't know, but uh, it didn't seem too, too bothered by us. It just sat there. Even when I started the snow mill and drove away. Did it run after? No, it stayed in the same spot even when we were I, I looked back like back quite like quite ways after and they were it was still just sitting. Probably thought we couldn't see it. I think so. Or think it's it sick, was... one or the other. Yeah. But uh it was a heavy size looking rabbit for the ones we have around here. Yeah. I think it was Pretty I heavy. think it was trying to stay still hoping we didn't see it. Yeah. Well, I didn't see it, you know, in case it's wondering. <laughs> it it did good. But I think if it was, I was it, I'd do a little more better when Mr. and Mrs. Lynx comes on and around because that ain't going to be hidden. <laughs> it's going to be in for a big surprise when Mr. and Mrs. Lynx come wandering around. Anyways, that's how much we did yesterday. This, this was totally empty, like I say. Uh, and that's what we have brought in here. It's 16 feet long. So that's just with our sleighs yesterday, four loads. So we're going to see how much we get today. We're probably going to keep hauling today, right? And see how fast we can get this, this shed. Uh, we're going to do this probably for a while, as long as we can do it. Let me tell you folks, last night I was white. What time did I lay down? At 7 o'clock last night? Um, yeah, around there. Around 7? Yeah. I was asleep by 8.30, I think. And I didn't wake up this morning until, what, 8 o'clock? Yeah. I slept all uh, night. No. Yeah, maybe. It was 8 o'clock. Yeah, I remember because I was thinking, hey, I'm up a half hour early nor than I normally am. But it was 8 o'clock. Because normally, 8.30 I get up and I finish my my video. Like, it's already uploaded. I just have to finish. i got to do the end screens and whatnot. And uh, get it ready to uh, to uh, make it public. But this morning, I remember I was I was an hour, a half hour early. So I slept quite a while. You did. From 8, 8.30 till 8 o'clock this morning. So... Almost 12 hours sleep, but remember last night I was so tired I was dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty like, a, and I wasn't tired from doing the firewood, folks. I was tired from me being up too late and then up early. So yesterday we did this, 16 feet wide this building, 16 feet long I should say, wide, whatever you want to call it, and we're uh, we're uh, about seven, seven and a half feet high, and that's how much we piled in here yesterday. This was empty, but. The sleigh has already almost paid for itself already. Isn't that easy too, Heather, that sleigh? Mm -hmm. But we're not going to load it this high because I was worried about... It, only the front. These ones didn't move at all. These Like, they might have rocked back and forth. They didn't go nowhere. But those ones in the front were a pain in the butt. I had to go slow. I think that's too wide. The I'm rabbit... Skinny. <laughs> Are you caught on the rototiller? <laughs> that's something I should do too. We don't use those... Watch the cup. Oh, sorry. We don't, we're not going to use those rototillers anymore either. So, I don't know. Don't need these. And here's some wine bottles Heather had give to her also so she can refill when she makes her wine. Yeah, I'm gonna make some. Actually, the, the man who was asking if we got the wine recipe, I copied it down and I am gonna try making it and I'm gonna make some other stuff along with it. So oh, cool. This will use, will be good for that. Yeah. And we'll try to fill up 
the basement uh, with yeah, with preserves and stuff and wine and yeah and wine so hopefully we'll have the basement that'll be nice too if we get company that wants to stay over we'll actually have a good spot for them to sleep yes yes which is nice yeah anyways we so if they want to come up in the winter and they want to go play in on the snowmobile they can yep. i'll help you that heather i'm just going to set this side and i'm going to pause this and we'll get piling this okay so with this all unloaded heather's and mine that's what it gave us that's how far we are now getting closer to having this whole row done. So if we can do one full row every two days, I think another another two sleigh loads will more than finish this. So two sleigh loads, so two days for one row, and I can fit, this is uh, 12, 12 by 16, so 12 feet. So I'm gonna fit three, six, nine rows in here. So nine rows times two days, that'd be about 18 days to fill this whole shed up with doing what we're doing. But yesterday we started late in the day though. But uh, yeah, well, and we're not splitting them either in here. I know some people was gonna say you should split them. We should have split them, but I don't own a wood splitter. Um, I ended up uh, giving it to Heather's mom and dad. They needed it more than us. They've helped us out too, so it was our time to help out. But uh, I have a wood splitter I can fix. I just don't have it fixed, and uh, we're just going to pile as much as in much in here as we can. And then next winter's wood, I will may get it out this summer maybe, and I will split it with a wood splitter, and I may store it in the basement when we have it finished. I'll put some down in there. But for now, we don't need this split. It can sit in here, and when we need it, we'll have it. Nice, I like the pattern and some of the, the end of this wood here. That's, that's where some limbs grew. You see the knots in there. For those of you who didn't know. You see how it's so dry, it's already starting to split some of it. And that's just from, you know, it was splitting when we cut it down. It was so dry standing, it was starting to split already on its own. Anyway, I brought out some hot water. Since I don't drink coffee anymore, I haven't had coffee probably in probably two and a half months. I'm gonna go in and sit down. That looks kind of jagged, that pile, because of that post, but that'll be fine. We're gonna finish this pile and maybe start on another one today. Well, I sure hope that shows up, folks. My day did not go as well as I thought it would. We didn't get back into the bush. A uh, fella we know quite well, a decent fella. He showed up looking for a snowmobile. So I get rid of the spare Polaris for two of these. Nine and a half horse, I think they're nine and a half horse diesel Yanmar engines, single cylinders, electric start. I used to work on these before, and they're pretty good engines. Now, you're wondering what I want this for? Well, I think this with a pulley on the side would drive my buzzsaw. That's what I was thinking. This diesel engine would run that buzzsaw, I think, with a pulley on the side. And uh, it starts and runs. I had it running a little while ago and it runs really good. Good governor setup. It is electric start. Now I started on the pull cord. There is a decompressor right here. You flip over and uh, it starts right up like that. I'm actually going to leave it in the. I'm not going to set it in the decompressor. I see the springs get weak like that. It's got your fuel on, it's got your throttle adjuster right there, and uh, it's got a pull cord plus a starter. But uh end up getting two of these diesel engines, single cylinders. This one runs. I'm not sure about the other one. I, I don't think it runs, but I'm not concerned. It's good parts. But uh, anyways, yeah. This should run that buzzsaw pretty good. And it will also drive our cement mixer this summer as well when we go to do our basement. So that will work out quite great. Anyways, that's it for this evening, folks. Uh, sorry the video's short. You folks take care and we will talk to you later. Bye bye.